Hello, I'm Emily of Redeeming Beauty Minerals, and I have had so much um, feedback about my new Crown Jewels collection and how I'm styling the new colors that I decided to make a tutorial for you. I've had um, many requests for that, and um, I finally had a moment, and also enough room on my phone. Uh, I moved off a whole bunch of baby pictures because my nine month old is so cute I can't stop taking pictures. So I finally have enough room on my phone and enough time and um, also uh, enough battery charge. <laughs> so I thought I'd make you a tutorial. So the first thing I want to tell you is I already did my basic face. So I have my foundation on, uh, alabaster foundation, and I have underneath that the mineral veil. Uh, perfectly flawless just to absorb any extra oil from all my hormones um, and then I have my blush on it's Victorian Rose and Angel of Light lip color and hot cocoa for, hot cocoa for my eyebrows and uh, the first thing you're going to need are your eyeshadow brushes you have your fluffy base eyeshadow brush and your fluffy crease eyeshadow brush and you're going to need Pure Eyes Primer. And then um, you're going to need, for my Crown Jewels collection, I have four colors I'm going to use. Elegance, Honor, Devotion, and Sophistication. And I'm not going to bother holding them up because if I try, the eyeshadow is going to fall out of the jar. And if I just show you the bottom, you won't really be able to see it. So anyways, I'll put the details in there for you. And the... Um, description I should say. So the first thing you're going to start with is the primer. You want to put it wherever you want the color to pop. So because I'm making a video, um, I need to put extra on so you can see. So you just dab your finger into the primer. You can't see it or feel it on. And you want to dab it on your eyelid. And you shouldn't feel it on at all. If you feel it on at all, if you feel slippery, you have too much on. Um, and you need to put some mineral veil on it to absorb the extra because then your eyeshadow will slide. All you want to do is make it a little bit tacky and a little tiny bit moist to bring out the undertones and to make the color more vibrant. And it also makes it stick longer and more. So I'm going to take my base eyeshadow brush, the fluffy one, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out to in. And I don't really do the whole crease color different from this color because seems to be outdated and seems to put too much depth um, in your eyes and it just doesn't look as good. So I'm going to bring out your eyes more by creating thirds of my eyelid. So I'm going to put the darkest or most vibrant color on the outer third corner. So you're going to put it right here. It doesn't have to be too, too precise. You're going to blend it all together later. You do want to put a little bit under your eyelid, okay? It will make you look more finished later on. So this is Honor, and it is a jewel tone green. And I have a mirror behind my phone. That's what I keep looking at because my phone is really little, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to see. So then I'm going to bring it under. And don't worry if it ends up, um, I got something to wipe the color off with. Don't, end up a, don't worry if it ends up a little past your third or over under your eyelid. You'll kind of brush that away. No big deal. So there's your green. Okay. And then you're going to take your purple devotion and you're going to put that in the middle third after wiping off your brush, by the way. And try not to put it too much over the green yet. You don't want to blend too, too, too much. But every once in a while, I mean, you can't be perfect. You might end up with a different placement every once in a while. But there's the purple. Looks like I should not have left my hair down for the video. I just thought it looked really pretty today and thought I would show you what it looked like without my hair always up. But it looks like it backfired. 
Let me sweep it away. Uh, I don't put any other color under the eyelid. It looks a little funny if you do like that many colors under there. So I just have the green under there. The purple in the middle, that's devotion. The outer corner was honor. And then you're gonna put the pink. That is sophistication. I wiped off my brush. And I'm gonna place it on the inner third here. So you can see, starting to look pretty vibrant now. So I'm almost done putting the color in. And this color is the color I'm going to take and sweep under the rest of the eye. This is just going to make your eyes look a little bit more finished when you're done. Okay, so um, I have extremely dark eyes and hair. When you have dark eyes and hair, you need to bring your eyes out just a little bit more so you don't look too shadowed. So I'm going to take elegance because I feel like my eyeshadow turned a little bit too dark. I'm gonna take Elegance, which is cream color. I can get it out, there we go. I'm gonna take my blending crease brush, and I'm gonna actually put this in the crease to help blend the colors together. In the crease and the, into the brow bone. Just make it look a little bit more finished. Because these colors are definitely more color than your natural look, so you want to make sure it blends really nicely. And then if anything is not blended as you, much as you like, you can take a little bit of elegance if you want to mute your eyeshadow a little bit. Kind of tap it over just to kind of blend some of the colors together if you want more blended look, okay? And then if you wanted to do eyeliner, you could do eyeliner, but I don't want to do eyeliner today. Um, I'll say that for another tutorial so this is not too, too long. So then I would finish with mascara. Um, so I'll come back and show you the finished look in just a moment, okay? Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm back. I wanted to show you the finished look. I put on my black, Sapphire Mascara. So I'm gonna come in and show you the look. So there you go. That's one way to style my Crown Jewels collection. And I will put the details in the description for you. And um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were inspired. Uh, you can use those same colors again or instead of the Honor, which is green, you can use Tranquility, which is more of an aqua peacock color. And I've done that too. Um, actually, you can find pictures of that one on my Facebook page uh, and on my Instagram. And I'm wearing like a gold headpiece uh, with uh, a stone hanging from it. So I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope you're inspired and have a wonderful day. And remember that beauty is more than skin deep. Bye-bye.